Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to use the color layer auto mask layer type in multi rip GP direct garment rip software. First thing we want to start off doing is we want to look at our graphic and understand some certain certain things when we use this. We can start off with a graphic with a transparent background, but when we use a print to rip, it'll actually flatten the graphic and create it white. Anything that the RIP uses 100% white, it will not print with this layer type. So the first thing I notice is we have white in our graphic, right around the uh, stripes going on the ends of the football, in the eyes, on the laces, and in the teeth. So what I want to do is I want to convert that white and put just a small amount of cyan in it. So I'll first click on my eyedropper, come over here, click on any part that's white, and you'll notice in the top right corner it has uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 underneath the CMYK where the RGB is 255, 255, and 255. So once I've clicked on the white, I can go up, click on image, go over to adjustment, and go down to replace color. In the replace color you'll see the white image located in the center right here of everything that's white. We're going to come down to the lightness, add a negative 1 to it. Then go ahead and click OK. We'll grab our picker, color picker again, put it over the white, and you'll notice in the top right corner there's 1% sign. Now the rip will print a white under base underneath the white stripes, and then we can also have it set to print a white highlight layer. So the next thing I want to do is I want to look at my image and look at the mode that I'm printing in. I prefer to print an RGB, so we'll go ahead and it's set up an RGB color already. Then I'll come down to my image size, check my image size, notice that it is 8.3 by 7.12 with a resolution of 150. It's a little bit small for putting it onto the front of the shirt, so I'll click on the constraint proportions and increase it to 10 and 8.5. Once I've done that, I want to keep my DPI somewhere around 150, 200, anything over 200 is really just overkill on ink. So go ahead and OK. Now that I have my graphic sized, I want to go ahead and put it onto the same size template as my platen. So I'm going to change my canvas size. Go to canvas, click on the width. It's going to be 12.5 by 16 inches is my platen size. I'll go ahead and OK. Let's now move my graphic. If I really want to look at the way it's going to show up, and this is the position that it would show up on. I just want to grab my graphic, move it a little bit higher up. We're going to do it on the front of the center of the shirt. So I'll just move it, give it about an inch to two inches below the collar. Now my graphic's set up. I'll click on the file and go down to print. I'm going to choose the MRGP Anajet with white ink. Click on properties, click on advance. I'm going to come over here, look at my platen size, which is 12 and a half by 16. I can choose to change my print quality or resolution from fine to super fine. I can choose my color appearance to whether it be vivid darker or photo normal. Vivid darker is basically only used for doing text and then vector clip art. Um, I can also choose to do photo normal. I'll choose vivid darker in this case. Our layer type. This time we're going to use the color layer auto mask because we want to put it onto a black shirt and we automatically want it to create our white underbase for us. So that is correct. We'll scroll down and you'll notice that you can choose for your RGB source profile. Um, because this graphic has red in the tongues, I think the red and blues best come off of NTSC 1953. You can also look at color match RGB as well. The media type, you can put down which one it is. If you had left it on white cotton, you'll notice that you have two yellow triangles that will open up. Those are one-inch triangles. Um, just letting you know that one of your settings is not correct. We'll go ahead and put that on. For your whiting density, you have a choice of doing it as the same as color, uh, light density, medium density, or heavy density. Light density really used for very light fabrics, much like bamboo. Medium density uh, would be your typical cotton t-shirts. Heavy density would be for sweatshirts. We'll just go ahead and leave it on medium density since that's what we're doing. You can choose what underneath your black ink white underbase whether you want to run no white underbase with no black ink, whether you want to run no underbase using black ink, 
or a light underbase with black ink. In this case, I'm going to choose a light underbase with black ink. Our uh, graphic is outlined with black ink. Um, I just wanted to kind of use it to make it pop off just a little bit more. And in addition, I just think the black ink tends to stick up to the white ink a little bit better than directly straight to the pretreatment. Also, you can choose between the auto white highlight function. There's a whole other video that goes through talking about whether to use the white mask only, whether to use the threshold percentage, or if you're going to create your own. We'll go ahead and just choose 7 as the default, and go ahead and OK, OK, and OK. Now we'll send the job to the rip. We'll open the rip up. We'll go ahead and clear out one of our previous jobs that we've had in here. And you'll notice coming across the top of this, you'll see the graphic begin to load into the rip. As it begins to load into the rip, you want to look at your ICC profiles and make sure that it's actually pulling in the correct profiles. If you see any error messages in here, it's something to take note of. It might lead to a potential problem before you ever send it. For the purpose of this video, we're going to pause this while this process goes through the rendering to save time. Uh, the speed on the rip is really dictated on how large your graphic is and uh, the, print, the computer that you're using. So we're going to go ahead and pause this right now to cut down the time of the video. We're going to pick back up with the white highlight layer finishing. I want you to notice in the incoming jobs tab that it has your file name listed right here with the size of your file. This is a 22.33 megabyte file, so it is a pretty large file. If you go to the Process Jobs tab, you'll notice that there's nothing in here. Currently, nothing will show up until after the color in the white highlights layer has been processed through. However, if you go to the Pages of Printers tab, you will notice that the white layer is already showing up and be ready to print. This basically allows you to go ahead and begin your printing before the entire file is sent to the printer through the RIP. This will help decrease your production time and basically allow you to print more profitable. We're about halfway through the color of this white highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it again to save time and pick it right back up at the end. Now while the color layer white highlights is finishing, I also want to remind you that you do have the ability uh, to save or export jobs that have already been ripped. Uh, so that way you'll never have to worry about your settings that you have in the graphic software, the RIP software, it includes both of those in there. And then if you're having multiple prints of the same exact design, RIP it just once and then create a production run. It'll save you much amounts of time not having to RIP a file 20 times. If we go into the Process Jobs tab, you'll see that here's our des design. If we double click on the file name, it'll open up a preview window. We need to click on page one. And here's our design shown up here, right there. You notice the size up at the top is 12 and a half by 16. That's the size of our paper size, or our platen in this case. You also have the ability to reprocess the job right there. And that's really all there is to using the color layer auto mask background in multi-rip GP, direct to garment rip software. If you have any questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.